here in Grind City. Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce, on the sidelines. Allie, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, after growing up in a small town in South Carolina, John ja Morant right at home here in Memphis, and he brought his family with him. He said, we're out by ourselves, not too many people around, like back at home. My parents still cook. It's the same thing. Just the house is bigger. Must be nice. That's a beautiful thing, Allie. Good report there. Let's see the stat sheet here for the Anthony Melton. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. The core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for Memphis, Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John Moran is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Brooks in at the three. And deep into the season now, Grant, are you noticing any trends that may just become a permanent part of the game? Well, I mean, of course, B.A., the fast pace of the NBA is here to stay. And players of all positions are continuing to develop deeper range from the three-point line. Now here's Thompson. Outside Curry. And he sinks the 11-footer. Oh, that's nice touch from the veteran guard. Curry has a gorgeous stroke. We all know that. Mid-range right on the money there. Here's Moran. Uses the glass on the layup. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Curry against Moran. And the basket by Curry. It's so good around the rim. Steph Curry knowing when to try his luck from there, and he gets super creative with some of the spins that he puts on the ball around the rim. Now here's Moran. Adams inside. He's defended by Looney. Down to five on the shot clock. Jackson, the pass to Moran. Here's Bain. And the shot no good. A bit short. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Here's Wiggins. The Grizzlies pull it in. Their last meeting was in this building. They were able to come out on top. They were able to pull out a win last time because their bench came up big. It's so important to have depth on your roster. Probably looking for more of the same here. As we know, a deep bench so crucial to any team's success. Oh, stolen by Moran. <laughs> and around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Pass to Bain. The three ball. Gets the three to fall. <laughs> and that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Warriors have gone two of four so far. Thompson passes to Curry. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Curry's got six points. Yeah, some situational awareness there from Clay Thompson. He understands the offense. He understands where the cutters are, and he finds one. Jackson finds Moran. With the teardrop. Oh, Green with a block. And that'll be Memphis's ball as it goes out of bounds. Grizzlies able to keep possession here. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Five to shoot. Morant. Like it when your superstars still make attentions to detail. Being active on D right there and not allowing the shooter some space. It's about Clay missing two years of his prime and how much not just the Warrior organization, but the NBA was robbed of his great play. And here are the Grizzlies now. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Pass to Bain. Morant with it. Drives to the hoop. And then Morant with the dunk. The quick feet of Morant. He's 
so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. And you talk about Thompson. Brent, you think about that 37-point quarter or the 60 points in three quarters. We just start seeing him getting into that rhythm and hitting shots from everywhere. And the best thing about it is the Warriors guys keep finding him. They want to feed Clay Thompson and watch him go off. Clay Thompson is an all-time great, one of the best shooters, hands down. Key part of the great dynasties in Golden State. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Clay can sometimes get overshadowed by his teammates, but Grant, he's definitely one of the stars in this league. And it seems that Clay doesn't mind that at times he's overlooked. He's all about winning and not worried about press. He's just a great teammate who's easy to play with. Both free throws good from Thompson. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Brooks. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Bain into the lane. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way with it. Thompson outside. Oh, Adams with the block. And Steven Adams just throwing that one out of the way. Thompson with a steal. Pass to Curry. Back to Thompson. Now Looney. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Come on, Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Now here's Moran. Consistent production from him. Averaging around 27 and a half points a game. And he can't get that one. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Thompson passes to Green. Shoots over Moran. It's rebounded by Memphis. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. And at the offensive end, they were lights out in that game. They found all sorts of ways to punish the deep. Yeah, I love watching that game, and in particular, their demeanor in their destruction in that game. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. There are fans that hate on Draymond Green, but nobody can deny he's a winner. I mean, he is a winner. He's found success at every level. He gives everything to the team. And of course, he has the rings to talk all he wants. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You know, Brent, at this point, is it fair to call Draymond a 16-game player versus an 82-game player? I don't think that's fair, B.A. I've seen it where Draymond Green is out there in the regular season barking and woofing like it's the playoffs. But I will say this. When it comes to playoff time, Draymond Green's going to ratchet it up a little bit, and that's dangerous for an opponent. There's always uh, arguments about how Draymond Green thinks he should get more calls. And maybe he's right. But for a physical guy, he does not spend a lot of time at the free throw line. Now here's Brooks. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Inside. Here's Green. And again, no good by Golden State. Memphis has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Bain, defended by Thompson. Here's Bain. He takes it in. Ooh, and Adam strong finish. There is some fluidity for a guy that size in Steven Adams. He's a legitimate option rolling to the basket. Pass to Looney. Outside Curry. There's the three. 
And again, no good by Golden State. Memphis trailing here. Here's Bain. Up top, Morant. Back to Bain. Jackson with it. He's defended by Looney with his first shot attempt. Jackson can't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Oh, got that one up quick. Thompson's got five points. It just feels like Clay Thompson, every shot that he shoots, he's got great balance. That one looked good. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Now Adams. And it's slammed in by Adams. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Now Thompson. He's got five. Outside Curry. Let's go with a three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. The loudest free t -shirts. Let's see who's the loudest. A line change here for Memphis. And the Warriors making a switch here. Anderson with it. Looking at his stats. He's putting up about seven and a half per game. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. I also like on the offensive end how they're working to get the ball into the paint, into the teeth of the defense. They've created a lot of high percentage shots so far. And the first one at the line is good. Tough to match up with Kyle Anderson because of how quirky he plays. Changing speeds, plays slow, but sees the floor remarkably well. Anderson drops them both. The Warriors leading. The Elite's outside. Here's Wiggins. Banked it in off the glass. Well, nice job by Bielita. Be patient. Look for teammates. He found one. Outside Jones. Pass to Anderson. Just five on the clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Conchar. And they'll get another chance. They shoot again. Can't hit that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Here's Melton. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Now here's Poole. 
He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Poole against Melton. Pass to Anderson. Here's Conchar. Over Wiggins. Tipped. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And the finish on the break with the slam. Really taking charge of the game. Largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight? Just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Just great offense. The screen freeing them up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And here are the Warriors now. After the basket by Memphis. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Neely to the pass to Poole. 4-3. Another three for Golden, Golden State. Pool. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Melton. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Melton's got six points. Showing off with the floater game. Not a shot you can swat. Thompson outside. Pass to Poole. Wiggins outside. Now here's Thompson. Poole outside. Driving inside. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists now in the game. Memphis has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Melton left side. Second chance effort. And that's two points on the layup. We'll give him eight points now. Uh, he's firing on all cylinders. Has to be happy with his four of five shooting from the field so far. Pass to Bielitsa. Poole with the ball. Now Wiggins. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Melton. Here's Conchar. Hounded by Wiggins. Kicks it out to Clark. 23 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Shot clock at six. Here's Melton. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Now here's Wiggins. Nine points for him in his last game. Takes it inside, and he dunks it down. A mobile attacking player. Wiggins' teammates and coaches love when he uses his physical tools to his advantage. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We'll be right back. And the championship medal of Stephen Curry, not in question. He understands the mental approach necessary to win. Stay in the moment and just focus on here and now. Um, we have to follow that kind of you know, game plan. Um, stay in the moment, do what we do every single night, and go get it. Well, in years past, the Warriors were the juggernaut. Grant, now they've got some competition. And Steph, one of four players in NBA history to win multiple scoring titles, rings, and league MVPs. I mean, B.A., you can't argue with his methods. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Boy, for the Warriors, this has been the game they've wanted to have. <laughs> On the front foot, 
really right off the tip. They've been ruthless offensively. Well, just taking it right at the opposition and the other team right now. No answers and no way to slow them down. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. Kaminga is out there with Otto Porter. Then it's Jordan Poole. Then it's Nemanja Bialica. And it's Wiggins in at the two spot. Melton against Poole. Pass to Jones. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Wiggins. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Allie. Williams passes to Clark. Now Jones, hounded by Wiggins. Melton on the wing. The Elitza with some nice D. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Clark. Brooks comes in for Conchar. And it's Bain in for Melton. For Memphis, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And here's Brooks. He's coming off a 19-point game against Milwaukee. Here's Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Nemanja Bielica. One of the jewels at the top of that 2018 draft. Jackson has made a huge impact at both ends. And he's still reaching his full potential. That one falls for Jackson. Well, Brent, you played for some spitfire coaches. Does that style still work for players today, you think? I, I think players will always want a coach B.A. that keeps them accountable and wants them to, to grow and learn. I think the communication style has changed, but the demands haven't. Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. The Warriors also with a sub. Green is checked in. And so Jackson nails both of them. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Moran against Curry. Shots good by Moran. Moran's got six. In the paint, Moran stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Outside Porter. Back to Curry. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Williams. Here's Bain. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Bain's got his second basket of the game. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. And a deep three from Curry. And it's Bain with the rebound. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. Outside, Williams. Jackson outside. Pass to Bain. The three. Porter pulls it in. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but quite plenty of room. Green against Moran. Driving in. And counted. Now four for nine. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Curry against Moran. Pass to Porter. Three-pointer. No good there. 
Now Memphis takes it the other way. Williams passes to Moran. A phase of his game that Jaws worked hard on. Morant's jumper becoming more and more reliable. To the paint. Tries to snap the cold streak. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish for Memphis. They've gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Knocked loose. Outside, Green. Pass to Curry. Pool outside. Off the mark there with a three. Memphis trailing here. Well, last year, Brent Curry climbing the ranks on all-time made threes. Incredible to see how fast he's ascended the totem pole. The question's going to be, D.A., is, is how big will that lead be once it is that Steph Curry retires? It's almost like Stockton and the, the steals numbers. If you, nobody's touching John Stockton's steal numbers. Feel the same way with Curry's three ball. Porter shot is off. The Grizzlies shooting the rock well in the second quarter. 55% from the floor. Payne, no good. Golden State has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Curry against Moran. Curry passes to Green. Uneasy two on the layup. And the Warriors lead by eight. Not easy to stop Draymond Green in that situation. Big and strong and uses his size well. Morant, the pass to Brooks. There's Jackson with the three. Here's Williams. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Poole right side. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. He didn't have his feet planted. Adams checked in for Williams. The Warriors also with a sub. Looney's checked in for Porter Jr. Here's Poole. Five points in the game. And the Warriors miss again. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Back to Brooks. Pass to Adams. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bain, guarded by Poole. Shot to win the cold streak. And it's Desmond Bain with the three. Bain's got eight points. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Curry against Moran. Here's Poole. Brooks with the rebound. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And here's Moran outside. Oh, the Grizzlies get it back. Golden State has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Here's Curry. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. 13 points in the game. It's not talked about a lot, but Steph is fast. So whether he's firing or passing, the defense is pretty much on their heels, especially in the screen and roll. Outside for Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Plays with so much confidence. When Moran gets in a zone, he stays aggressive. Here's Poole. He's got five. And here's Curry for three. And it's Bain with the rebound. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. That one rolls around and rims out. The Warriors leading. Here's Toscano. And it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Adams, and here's Morant. With the drive. 
Here's Adams. The shot won't fall. Looney with some nice D. Golden State has gone just one of six from distance during the second quarter. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. Three-pointer. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got four rebounds in the game. Brooks, the pass to Moran. Back to Brooks. It's blocked! Moran against Curry. And the call will be against Jaron Jackson. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Thompson comes in for Poole. defense the Grizzlies it's a five-point game Anderson against Green pass to Curry oh stolen by Moran outside Anderson back to Brooks Anderson with it five to shoot here's Bain and here's Adams. He's covered by Curry. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Adams has got six. Yeah, there's really no defense for that one. Turnaround jumper on time, on target. Thompson outside. Curry against Moran to stop the drought. No luck on that one. And it's Memphis the other way. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. Here's Curry into the lane. And that yeah, comes off the assist by Green. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Well, the Grizzlies shooting about 41%. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Outside Moran. Pass to Bain. Adams with the ball. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Give him eight points now. Well, a combination of muscle and some focus right there allows Steven Adams to collect another bucket. Outside Curry. The open shot by Thompson. Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. And the Warriors lead by five. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Moran. There's the drive. And the layup falls. He's turned it on here in the second quarter, getting his offensive game on track. Well, the Warriors shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Moran against Curry. Outside, Green. From outside, off the mark. Memphis has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Moran against Curry. Outside Moran. Let's it fly. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Warriors on top, up by three. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Just ignite our pace. You know, everything starts with our defense. Can we pick up our activity? We've got to get some stops. We've got to keep them off the free throw line. We've got to get out and run. They're showing a great crowd in the paint, but just trust the pass. Everyone's got to trust each other, get multiple actions, get some good looks, and hopefully they fall for us. High expectations for Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. First half was all about Stephen Curry. 
he ended up with 15 points, two assists, and four rebounds. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. They're keeping things simple, getting to their spots and executing. Nothing fancy, kind of like Shaq. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. Well, the low turnovers really stood out to me. They didn't get loose with it or make silly passes. Nothing was forced. They had a nice flow to the offense. The guys knew where to be on the floor. That's the heads-up style of play they need to bring in the second half. may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. Desmond Bain is out there with Ja Moran. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Pass to Wiggins. Now here's Curry from deep three-point range. Golden State style. Jonathan Kaminga. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Curry against Moran. To the inside. And the dunk by Jackson. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. It's good. Curry's got 17. I feel like when he gets going like this, it's a night where Steph might take a few more chances offensively. That spells trouble for the defense. Pass to Adams. Now Jackson. Adams inside. The Warriors pull it in. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. It's off to Washington after this one, where they will face the Wizards. That'll be game five for them as they near the end of a six-game trip. For Memphis, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stefan. It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Wiggins passes to Curry. Oh, he trains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. John Morant picks one up. And the defense of Wiggins, Grant, something that he's turned around in his career. Yeah, you know, B.A., he went from a weak defender to a strong one. He's always had the tools, but he's putting it all together and can now be a lockdown wing. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Bielitsa has checked in for the Warriors. What you love about Steph right here is just the winning mentality. He's a champion that gives up a lot of his game in order for greater team success. Brooks, the pass to Adams. Here's Bain. No one near him. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Wiggins. And he wills that one in, sinking it right through the back of the iron. Wiggins got nine. This demonstrates assertiveness. You know Wiggins.
Evans is feeling it when he's rising and firing like this. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Looney. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Here's Curry. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Curry's got 23 points. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Timeout called. Memphis. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Back to Jones. Clark outside. Five on the clock. Melton finds Clark. Here's Conchar. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Under heavy duress, that's a low percentage shot. Gotta find something better than that. Wiggins outside. Back to Bielitsa. Pass to Wiggins. Golden State needs to get off a shot. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Wiggins. And now a 10-point Warrior lead. Here's Conchar. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Golden State with the ball. They've got a 13-2 run going. It's Wiggins on the wing. Launches a three. Another three for Golden State. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Memphis calls timeout. Think about the Warriors going out and getting Wiggins and a lot of people questioning whether or not he would have a role on the team. He's fit in pretty well. Williams has checked in for Jackson. Here's Conchar. A rebound by Wiggins. Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. And on the wing, Thompson. He's got seven. And there's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's foul number two for him. Wiggins stated the change in team culture really helped him out, Brent. Well, sometimes being asked to do less takes a lot of pressure off of somebody who was asked to do everything. And that's where Wiggins finds himself, playing with Steph, playing with Clay and Draymond. He settled into a nice role. And the Warriors making a change here. Poole's checked in. Here's Porter. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing, but they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. Melton outside. And he's going for the lob. Oh, Clark with the slam. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Poole, the pass to Thompson. Over Jones. Thompson shot is off. The Grizzlies have gone four of nine in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Williams. Oh, 
and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half Take a break. carried Take a right break. over into the second two half. Two. You might give them a standing O for what they've done behind the arc tonight as well. That has certainly been a go-to shot for them, and tonight it's working. He misses the free throw, and the Warriors making a change here. He hits the second from the line. Now the Warriors with it. They're on an 18-5 run. Pass to Thompson. Over Melton. Puts it up from the high post. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Conchar. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Conchar taking two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And so he hits both. And here are the Warriors now. Wiggins outside over Clark. He got a piece of it. Melton outside. Outside Jones. Here's Conchar. He's guarded by Porter. Down low. Here's Williams. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. And that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Thompson. Wiggins outside. And again, it's the Warriors missing. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. Thompson with a steal. It's Poole on the wing. Stolen by Melton. Here's Conchar. Pass to Melton. Clark up top. Now here's Jones. Defended by Thompson. Four on the clock. 11 feet out. It's deflected. And here comes the break. Pull for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Clark's got four rebounds now. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Back to Melton. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiggins has got six rebounds now in the game. Porter, the pass to Thompson. Back to Porter. Wiggins against Clark. Poole outside. Oh, they need this! Conchar pulls it in. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Here's Melton. And that one's long. And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss that. Porter finds Poole. That one drops. And it comes off an assist from Porter. 
Pujols got seven points in the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Timeout call, Memphis. Checked in for Memphis. Brooks comes in for Conchar. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Thompson. Pass to Clark. Melton with the ball. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Yeah, just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. Bain, he's checked in for Memphis. Golden State has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Tipped away. Pass to Kaminga. Now Green. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Just five to shoot. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Adams comes in for Clark. And it's Morant in for Jones. And Golden State also making a switch. Looney's checked in. for three. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Bain. Give him eight points now. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bain's got ten points. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Pass to Kaminga. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Anderson. And here's Morant. And it's Poole with a rebound. Here's Kaminga. Oh, oh, up to the wow. down. oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sale. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding and rising up off the ground. You know, Jonathan Kaminga has a terrific build for NBA action. He's got height and a seven-foot wingspan, combined with a lot of quickness and athleticism. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Well, Grant, where you really see Kaminga put his physical gifts to use is on defense. That's right. He sticks to his man like glue and also has a great nose for the boards. He was collecting a very respectable amount of rebounds down there in the G League. Outside, green. Back to Poole. Four on the clock. Over Adams. Poole shot is off. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Adams, the pass to Anderson. Stolen by Wiggins. Poole outside. From deep. Hits a three-pointer. Poole's got five points now in the quarter. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Up top, Moran. He's defended by Looney. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wiggins. 
Jackson, he's checked in for Anderson. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. Here's Bain. Ten points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Brooks from outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Here's Curry. Pass to Green. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Outside Morant. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got his sixth rebound on the night. Wiggins outside. Left side green. Puts it up from 15. The shot, no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More 2K action in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. Draymond plays the four with Looney at the five. Stephen Curry is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's Kaminga in at the three. The small forward. Picked it out of midair. Pass to Brooks. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one belongs to Wiggins. At the line for Memphis, Dylan Brooks. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. He's perfect from the line this time. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Now here's Green. Back to Wiggins. Into the lane. Here's Looney. Got a piece of it. Oh, Brooks with the steal. To the inside. Back to Moran. Jackson outside. Moran against Curry. And Moran gets it to go on the assist from Jackson. I mean, just an agile move by Moran down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. Moran against Curry. Looney. Yes, it's good. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Well, Memphis shooting the rock well at 46%. Moran with it. Green picks him up. It's stolen by Green. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. That's tipped. Here's Kaminga. Outside, Green. 
Clock at six. Outside Curry. From deep. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Substitution for the Warriors. Clay Thompson. Curry against Moran. Shoots over Curry. Moran, no good. The Warriors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Pass to Wiggins. Knocked away. Here's Curry. Brooks with the rebound. Brooks has got six rebounds here tonight. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. To the paint. Five on the clock. Ooh, and Adam Strong finish. Well, you might ask for help down there. You got to push Stephen Adams out of the paint, and you can't give him good looks like that. Pass to Looney. Over Adams. And the basket by Looney. Looney's gotten four this quarter. Really enjoy his work on the inside. The D was there, but helpless. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got three assists in the game. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Here's Curry. And here is Green. Soft touch off the glass. And the Warriors lead by six. Draymond Green around the rim trying to find a little bit of a window to get that ball up. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Moran finds Brooks. That three's off the mark. The Warriors have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Curry with it, guarded by Moran, and that's good. Stephen, Stephen Curry for three. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. And all those things that Steph does before the game, and you think there's no way he's pulling those off in the game, guess what? He's pulling them off in the game. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. Moran against Curry. Inside, here's Thompson, and the layup is good. Clay Thompson showing he doesn't mind getting physical down there. Didn't let the defense get to him, and he got to the ball. Morant, the pass to Jackson. To the paint. Here's Green, and it's hammered home by Green. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, that's what you two wow. know right there. Wow. Yeah, an electric player. Morant just bouncing off the contact and finishing on the drive. Here's Curry. Again, the Definitely. Warriors score. Not just the accuracy in the quarter. It's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Morant. That one no good. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Wiggins finds Curry. The three from Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. And the Warriors lead by 14. Well, looking to shoot immediately off the pass, and I don't think he even felt the leather that time. Moran against Curry. No good, and Golden State will go the other way with it. Down low, the 11-footer. Wiggins, no good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Pass to Bain. Outside Morant, fires the three. Warriors with the rebound. Wiggins has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And he drives in, and it's flushed down, a nice jam. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. They're searching for a way to score. 
Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Morant, the pass to Adams. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Green with the ball. Guarded by Morant. And it's John Morant with the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jones has checked in. Tyus Jones! Thompson right side. Puts the move on. They get it back. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Outside Jones. Jackson on the wing. Shoots over Wiggins. Jackson gets the bucket. Flashing the in-between game. Nice. I mean, Jackson is more than capable of draining this when given the chance. Curry passes to Thompson. Right side Curry with the drive. And the bucket is good. Curry's got 38 points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Bain. Here's Adams. He's defended by Looney. Adams, the pass to Brooks. Five to shoot. Here's Bain. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Curry. This one for three. And the Warriors with another three. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Now here's Adams to the inside. Here's Jackson. It's good. Jackson's got six points in the quarter. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Clay is a very good positional and on-ball defender, but him getting to a block shot like that, that's impressive. Outside Jones. Back to Jackson. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Curry. And that one hits the back iron. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Bain into the lane. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Golden State has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Looney. Outside. Green. Here's Curry. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Brooks. Adams, the pass to Jackson. Second shot opportunity. And there's a three-second violation. Ooh, talk about a way to deflate the team. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Curry. Nice open look, but it's no good. A defense better tighten up on the mid-range there much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Pass to Bain. Jackson with it. Hounded by Wiggins. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got 10 points here in the second half. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. 
Curry with it. Looking to end the drought. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Brooks. Takes a three. Warriors with the rebound. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Warriors. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And when we look at their record, this game pushes them to 49 wins. And what a huge performance it was for Stephen Curry. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. Shot clock at six. Pass to Jackson. Shoots over Curry. Jackson gets the bucket. And that's part of what makes Jackson Jr. so dangerous. He's great inside, but can also shoot from the perimeter. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now here's Curry to the middle. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Here's Brooks. Count it. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin, exceptional effort on the road. They were ready, and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.